Hey, I know, listen, the studio's not as full as it usually is for you, but I want the young people to put their hands together right now. Come on, put your hands together. Yeah! Farad's family getting it done for me. I appreciate it. Gorn, great to have you here. Thank you, Thank you uh, for having me. There's so much that's happening. Let's first of all start about, with some trends. Uh, last night, you were informed about the franchise record that you all have broken and now are yeah, moving past with the scoring. It, I know can, that's not your emphasis. We cannot talk about that. You gotta leave it alone? Just yeah, keep Coach, Coach Spo said that. He no, just squashed we, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. Spo. That's Spo right there. Anyway, it's nice how the offense is working. Why is it working so well now, then? We're sharing the ball, mm -hmm. um, you know, everybody's involved. And, um, you know, we have guys who, who are going to attack, you know, Dion, Tyler, or JJ. Yeah. And, um, you know, uh, every, every night is going to be somebody different. And, you know, tonight we got uh, four guys in double, double figures. And, um, you know, last game Tyler was huge for us. So, yeah. you know, uh, you don't know who's going to have a big game for us. So that, that's kind of uh, unique for this team. Yeah, 30 assists uh, last night, 23 tonight. Uh, I'll say this about the, the scoring streak. Uh, the last time it, the, the, the franchise had a streak this long, I was still in college. So that, I'm talking about, well, we're talking about which year a very was long that? time. It was, it was the spring of 94, if I remember correctly. 94, okay, yes. I was eight years old. That's, I didn't need you to have a <laughs> parallel drawn there at all, but I appreciate it, nonetheless. <laughs> um, so it's significant, but Coach doesn't want to talk about it, so we'll move on. Um, defensively, uh, you guys are starting to put it all together, because there were times, even when you were winning, that, that there would be nights where it was all offense, and yeah. sometimes it would be defense that got you through. Being able to pull the two together, what's been instrumental there? Um, you know, we're talking in defense. Everybody is in the right spot. Um, um, you know, when you're defending pink and roll, you trust your teammate that, that he's going to be there. And, um, you know, our goal is to, to you know, to limit um, the opponents to, you know, 40% from the field or under. And we did that tonight, too. So that, that's, that's a key of our success. A, a different night for Hassan tonight uh, than last night, but equally impactful? Is that the best way to, to oh, describe Oh, yeah, def definitely. Yeah. I mean, you know, even last night, um, he didn't have a good scoring game, but he was huge defensively, you know, protecting the paint, um, rebounding the ball, and, um, you know, just making just making guards, you know, you know, they're not they're not quietly sure to attack or right. they need to pass the ball so that that's a huge thing to have it's nice to have the hesitation let's look at your night you had a nice night on the floor there tonight as well there's some moving pictures on the television screen as we uh review your 21 point night you had four assists uh, a couple steals a couple rebounds you're busy out there making stuff happen no no i, I would like to talk about my teammates more than it's too, we did that already. You know, it's too no, late. Like, it's time well, for seven. Well, well, I understand seven elevens open all the time. Yeah, all the time. Right, so we twenty four seven. Okay, okay then, then let's talk seven, about yeah. seven. <laughs> That's where it is. What do you when you were when you were coming down the court and usually at a high speed? What's the first thing you're looking at? You know, if I see Dion ahead of me, pitch ahead, and you know, try to try to um, attack. Um, you know, if you got three and two or one or two and one. Usually you get good shots, and you know Dion is so aggressive, and his ability to get inside the paint, um, you know, you know it's gonna something good happen for us because usually he's gonna finish it or he's gonna kick out um, to open shooter. And not to give out all your secrets tonight, uh, I'm sure everybody in, in Dallas is watching the show trying to figure out yeah, exactly yeah. how you're gonna deal with things on Monday. We play but, a lot of zone. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> oh, no. Sorry, Dirk, he's not giving it up tonight. Um, when you're deciding to pull up, because uh, when you miss now. I'm astonished. I really am. Because the way yeah. that you look and the way that you're lined up, and every now and then I'm like right in line with you, it looks like they're all going in. Does it feel that way now when you're dialed in from long range? Yeah. Uh, you know, every time when I shoot at these right on, on the line. Yeah. It's not right. Now, not, maybe yeah, long, now, now I need yeah. to correct a little bit. Um, last few shots, last two games, the, the three ball was a little bit long. Mm -hmm. um, but, um, you know. That's a good problem. That's the good problem. Yeah, you yeah. Good, good, yeah. But, um, you know, I got an excuse. We were seven days off in all <laughs> Start break, so try to get back on the track. All right, a little dusty and rusty down in Key West. Yeah. All right, I understand. <laughs> I know how it goes. It's my favorite spot. Partner, thank you so much. Thank you. Congratulations man. on yet another win. See you tomorrow on thank the Big you. Bird as we head to Dallas.